question. Go pa natin. I'm all down. I'm all up for it. <laughs> oh, my mom is a very strategic hard worker or something that we call madiskarte. She's very gritty. She never finished school, but she's very successful. And that's uh, one characteristic that I admire her for. She's an amazing woman with a lot of um, tricks up her sleeve. And she has been teaching me all this. And I've been trying to learn all of them and apply them on a daily basis. And I think that's why I got to where I am today. Hello, mo. Pati natin si Mami. Hello, Mami. I hope she's watching. <laughs> she just recently uh, learned how to work on Facebook. She just had her Facebook account very recently. At siya yung number one basher ko, yung nanay ko. Bakit? <laughs> ano sinasabi niya sa'yo? Wala. At tawag sa akin kasi Baldo. Sa bahay. At tawag sa akin ni Mama, Baldo. Because I'm ano pretty Baldo? boyish. <laughs> so Baldo yung tawag okay. sa akin Mama. So, <laughs> Chaka, Baldo. So, meron akong bikini picture na ina-upload. Magko-comment yan si Mama. Hoy, Baldo, ano ba yan? Magdamit ka, ganyan. But it's all fun and short. So, it's really cute. Okay. Conservative si Mami. Pero charot-charot lang niya yun. But it's really cute when she does that. Like, oh, marunong ka na mag-comment, ha? <laughs> At least, di ba? Yeah. Hmm, Sabi naman niya, Asis G. Yes. Thank you, G. <laughs> Kilala ko si G. Si G yung may corona ng nagbablog. Hi G. Oh yeah yeah I've seen I've seen I've seen her vlogs her vlogs. Mm -hmm. Yung may corona. Yes. Ito pa. In your own view, what one significant role of beauty pageants during this pandemic? So I think the question is if I can rephrase it, what is the significance of beauty pageants in the middle of a pandemic? Um, I think beauty pageants exist for the purpose of um, inspiring, giving hope, um, lending a hand to people. Especially now with the new format of the pageant, of this pageant, especially now that we are trying to differentiate Miss Universe Philippines from all the other existing pageants. We want to help as many people as we can. And in the middle of, an, of the pandemic, that is something that we really need the most. A helping hand, a sister, an icon to look up to. So I think that's why beauty pageants are still very significant, even in the middle of pandemic. Totoo, totoo. Yung nag-miss grand nga dito, grabe, parang bagong bukas kaming lahat. Yung alam mo yun, na sobrang tagal na walang pageant, tapos parang yung mga tao, Sobrang na-miss yung buhay, na-miss yung ilaw, na-miss yung sigawan. But I hope walang corona ng gabi niyo. Of course, we have to take all the necessary precautions before pushing through with this pageant. And um, I, I hope it doesn't sound selfish, but I don't think it mm -hmm. does. I think um, pushing through with this gives the Filipino people, the audience at least, a sense of mm -hmm. normalcy with all that's going on around. So... Yeah, we have to still be careful with everything that we're doing. Siyempre, we don't want anyone to get sick while in the middle of the pageant. But yeah, we still have our role. In social media bringing people together or causing separation. Technolog we have gone a long way in terms of technological advancements. And it's something that I actually appreciate because now we have the option to work from home. People can now earn and... Um, get something just by sitting at home with their family. However, we have something that we call irresponsible social media platforms, wherein we don't use what we have in the, in the right, in the correct way of using them. So as much as I want to um, lean on the answer of keep bringing the people together, nothing can, um, nothing can, separate or nothing can um, switch the warmth of a hug. And that is something that we still need even up to now. But given the current situation, we can only use what the social media can offer, and that is online video chat. But end of the day, we will still long for that hug and that kiss. So 
I think social media is helping, but I think we should mm-hmm. be responsible in using them. Exactly. Etong next question na to, nasagot mo na to kanina, pero sige, pagbigyan natin. Are you a phenomenal woman? If yes, how do you say so? Yes, I am a phenomenal woman, just as you are a phenomenal man and mama is a phenomenal person as well. Why we have we all have our strengths which we can use in whatever way we can. But we should always use them for the betterment of everyone. I am a force to be dealt with and so are you. Given the right opportunities and the right platforms, we can all shine together. And that is what a phenomenal woman does. Magkaiba ba yung sagot ko kanina? Medyo similar naman, di ba? Medyo similar, <laughs> pero mas so maganda ito. At least you know it's not memorized. <laughs> We are phenomenal women. <laughs> We are phenomenal. We are all phenomenal. Exactly. Sabi ni Rona, personality check questions for me closure doesn't really exist it isn't something that we need it's just something we think that we need my question is have you forgiven an apology you never got if so how did you do it yes and i do it a lot of times um for those who don't know i work in a service industry and sad reality is we encounter and we meet people who doesn't really um, treat us very well. But at the end of the day, if you think about them too much, it will only burden you. So you have to let go. You have to forgive. And you don't need to put yourself under that much stress and that much pain because you deserve more. You deserve peace. That's why you have to let go and you have to forgive. Galing. Not actually talking about that. That's not the question. Really hard, but yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> about magdamit ng maayos para di mabastos. What I could say is. I don't think what I wear dictates how you should think of me. I think we should all respect each other despite whatever people's wearing. Because clothes doesn't dictate who I am. It can be a statement. It can be a part of who I am. But that's not me. That's not just me. And we owe it to everyone to be respectful of their own choices. We have manners. We go to school. We are educated people. Therefore, we need to respect. We know how to respect. And let's apply this on a daily basis, regardless of whatever people is wearing. What will you sacrifice for love? Oh, my God. This was the question that was given to me last year so Miss World. Okay. So, really? It was. I hate you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so after that year's um, answer, I have thought about this a couple of times already, of course. But um, what will I sacrifice or give up for love? Um, there are many types of love. We have familial love, we have romantic love, we have um, our personal love and uh, self-love. But one thing that I will give up for it is um, bad habits, such as um, self-doubting. And I think end of the day, what's important is that in any type of relationship that we are in, there is trust, there is compromise, there's room for improvement, and there is authentic love. Totoo. <laughs> Napaisip ka sa love life mo, no? <laughs> <laughs> Oo naman. Tapos tawag dito. <laughs> Meron pang 10 questions na naka-ready for you oh sa mga sa audience. Ilaban pa natin to. I'm down. Magaganda naman questions. 
what is your message to those Caviteño natives who decided to leave the town for better opportunities? I don't think human beings are meant to just stay in one place. I alone am based in Cebu and have been living in Cebu for the past uh, few years. And seeking personal growth is not selfish. I think it is perfectly fine to live, to choose to live wherever you want to live, as long as you know deep down inside that you know your roots, you know where you came from, and you know how to look back, and you're still very proud of where you came from. I think that's important. So I don't shame people who move from town to town, province to province, or even migrate outside Philippines, because that's where they're going to be happy. That's where they can find growth. So I support it. Next questions. Ito, gusto ko tong tanong na to. If you win the crown of Miss Universe Philippines, what is that one quality of Billy Hackinson that can conquer the universe? Billy Hackinson is tough. Billy Hackinson has a tough skin. She is not someone you can easily take down because of a simple negative word, simple negative comment. And that is one thing that I want to share with everyone because we all need that kind of person, especially with all the problems that we are in right now. We need someone who is concrete. We need someone who is solid. We need someone who is tough and who, who can actually um, express herself freely without, um, what, of course, with the right filters and all, but um, who can think in a snap of a finger and act on it. So I think that's one quality that I can share with the universe if I actually get the crowd. Kaya mahal ka namin, Billy, kasi naniwala ko sa'yo. Thank you, ma. Natatawa ako sa'yo pag gumagay ito. Kasi nahihiya ako, kinikinig ako eh. Uh, anong masarap na pagkain sa Cavite? Madami. Share so, sa, sa silang, ang highlight talaga namin is fruits. Marami kami. Pinya, mm. ganyan. Frutas Festival, we have that. Sa Imos, meron kami ng Imos Longganisa. So, medyo on the garlicky side siya na miss na miss. Nandiyan din yung halo-halo natin sa Bako Or. Tapos yung mga tinapan natin sa area ng mga naik, mga gondon. Tapos, mapabas. Tagay tayo, syempre, we have the tawilis. Pero yung iba, kiniklaim na, well, of course, marami din kasi sa Batangas. But yun yung madalas sa Tagay tayo. Of course, the Bulalo. Hello, Bulalo of Tagay tayo. Mm-hmm. And Coffee of Amadeo. Coffee of mm-hmm. Amadeo also. Yung Bulalo doon sa may ano, sa may Tagay tayo, yung ang sarap ng Bulalo doon eh. Dati nang pupunta ako doon. Yes, Kasi yung maraming so, tama doon sa bone marrow. Ugh. Mahalo ka pa rin. Oo, tapos may patok-tok-tok-tok ka pang nalalaman. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alam tapos mo yun. Tapos asakit na yung batok mo kapag katapos. <laughs> Oo, masakit na yung batok mo kasi hina-high blood ka. <laughs> so, yun. Ayun na sa kabite. Diyan. Oo. Oh. <laughs> I think the biggest enemy of our earth, of our earth, of the earth, and why, mm-hmm. is humans greed. I think the main problem is that people, and it's innate within us, it's natural, we are naturally greedy. But it's not something that we can't control. We can control being greedy. And now more than ever, we need to be selfless and we need to be able to take care of more, not just ourselves, but also the people around us. And we are stewards of all his creations and we are responsible of um, taking care of everything around us. And so if we can only stop or eliminate being greedy, I think the world will be a much better place. How do you react on the rape jokes? Rape jokes are never funny. This is a very sensitive topic for me because I was a victim of sexual violence and gender-based violence. And we have to address this as aggressive as we can. Because women don't deserve this. Not just women, members of the LGBTQI community doesn't deserve this. Yes, men also um, experiences this, but 
it is never a joke. Rapes are never a joke. The simple catcalling is not a joke. It's very offensive. It's very degrading to everyone. And we have to call out on all these people who find happiness, who enjoy delivering rape jokes, who think that it's funny, who think that it's okay to do that. We have to call them out. We have to speak up. I know it took me a lot of time to be able to share with you guys my experiences. And it's only normal. But someone has to do it. Someone has to say, no, it's not right. And me being here is my way of doing that. But alam mo, Billy, at least mas matapang ka na ngayon sumagot. <laughs> yes. After my release, okay. yes. Mm, ngayon more on ano ka na. Parang strong and power. What will you bring or show on Miss Universe platform being a Filipino Filipina? I think one thing that I will take with me on the Miss Universe stage is Filipinos' um, personality of being masayahin, Filipinos' um, culture of being madiskarte, and Filipinos' grit and hard work because it is something that I can 110% relate to because of my own personal experiences. And I know that I can fully share it with everyone because it is very true to me. And you can only share something that you have. And that is something that I know I have. May pahabol pa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ate Rona. So, hindi ka pala sa akin na solid, ha? Bumalik ka lang ulit ngayon, ha? <laughs> <laughs> diba? So, yon Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat na nagko-questions ngayong gabi. Kay Billy, talaga naman at least, diba? Nakita natin kung gaano kagaling si Billy, kung gaano ka bongga tong kandidatang to. Ako masasabi ko, wala akong duda mula sa simula hanggang ngayon, hanggang sa mga darating pang pageant. But, Billy, how do you want to people remember you para sa competition na to? I want people to remember the province that I'm representing. I am carrying not just myself. I'm carrying the whole Cavite. And I am really proud that in some way, I was able to unite our province. And I have been receiving a bunch of, a lot of support from my province, from my fellow Caviteños, and I have never experienced this level of support in my previous pageants. And I want people to remember that, oh, she's the girl from Cavite. And on the international stage, they will also see that. She's the girl from Cavite, and she's Miss Philippines. Why you should be the next Miss Universe Philippines 2020? Because I'm a phenomenal woman and I think that I have something unique to offer to the universe and because I know that I can represent the Philippines to the best of my abilities, no matter how unique it is, I know that I can put up a good fight and I know that I can make the Filipino people proud. Bongka. So yon. So baka naman may gusto kang mensahe para sa lahat ng nanonood ngayon. Ang dami-daming sumubaybay sa atin. I know. So yon. Uh, panahon to para magpasalamat ka at humingi ng suporta sa kanila para sa joining mo dito sa Miss Universe Philippines 2020. So before saying that, guys, also support the Ring Light series and all the other girls. Um, it's only 299 pesos. You just have to go to empire.ph and subscribe. Your um, contribution will go a long way. It will help my beneficiary, the girls' beneficiary, and also the organization's beneficiary. So um, you don't you, you will watch the rest of the show. You will watch the coronation and know that you're being of help to others. So just go to our website. The first episode will air tonight. I haven't checked it yet, but I think, uh, I don't know if they uploaded it already, but um, it will be aired tonight. So I think two videos will be uploaded per week. So that is exciting. I promise you guys, it will all be worth it. So um, Coronation will be on the 25th and it will be aired uh, on uh, GMA7. So watch out for that. <laughs>
thank you thank you guys again please stay safe everyone pandemic is not yet over but as i've said earlier um we have to unite we have to cooperate we have to help each other for us to be able to survive and surpass this um pandemic so again thank you guys i hope you guys have a great evening i hope you guys enjoyed the show maraming maraming salamat. Thank you.